Hello, this is Damien from Cloud Technology Experts. In this series of video training, I will take you through the fundamentals of Linux. And if you're completely new to Linux, this video series will be very helpful to you, I believe. All right, so this slide is about me. As you can see, I have a PhD in computer science. I'm heavily into Kubernetes, into Linux, into cloud, especially Amazon Web Services. And I have several years teaching this uh, technologies to people all over the world. I've implemented several Kubernetes projects and I organized a meetup here in Dallas called the Kubernetes and Cloud Native uh, North Dallas. I, I love running as a hobby. So let's get started. So here's a course outline. You can pause the video and read them for yourself, but these are some of the things we've been talking about in this training. First of all, we're going to start by learning what is Linux and why should we learn it today. And then we're going to install a VirtualBox and use VirtualBox to create a VM and install Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Then we're going to continue to learn Linux, learning to navigate the Linux desktop and terminal, understanding Linux directory structure, essential Linux commands like ls, cd, print working directory, tree, then we're going to understand differences between files and directories, and then we're going to have a hands-on exercises. In fact, the whole training is going to be hands-on exercises, just a few theoretical explanations, and then you get your hands dirty trying to learn Linux. So moving on, we're going to learn about how to create and manage files in Linux. You'll learn about moving files, copying files, and deleting files. Then you understand uh, what are hidden files and what are white cows. And then we'll learn about editing files with nano and vim and you learn to use commands like cat and tail and all of that. All right, like I said, feel free to pause the videos and look at the outline. On the next slide as well, the outline continues. So the objective uh, is that by the time you finish this training, you should have a very good knowledge of Linux that will get you started, uh, even get you a job. All right, but if you really follow through the uh, course and you do all the lab exercises, you should have a very good knowledge of using Linux. All right, so this is lesson one. What is Linux and why should you learn it today? So for this video, these are the learning objectives. So by the end of the video, you will understand what is Linux and how it different, how, how it's different from Windows and Mac OS. Uh, you know where Linux is used in modern tech ecosystem. You will recognize the major Linux distributions and you understand why Linux, uh, learning Linux is a career advantage uh, starting now and beyond. So let's start with introduction. If you're planning a career in cloud, DevOps, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, uh, there's just one skill you absolutely need and that is Linux. So in this video, I will explain what is Linux why it powers most of the technology you use today and why learning it in uh, today can completely change your tech career. All right, so then what is Linux? It's an operating system, just like Windows or Mac OS. Uh, if you have ever used any computer, you have definitely used one operating system, be it Windows or Mac OS, and Linux is just like one of them. Uh, so Linux is used both on the desktop side and on the server side. Technically, Linux is the kernel, uh, which means it is the main component that talks your hardware, okay? So for every computer, there has to be the hardware, like the motherboard, uh, but then without an operating system, you really cannot use a computer. So Linux in this case is a kernel, which helps to talk to the backend hardware. Uh, but on top of the kernel, you have a whole lot of other tools um, which you're going to deploy uh, for different purposes. Maybe for office productivity, you want to use um, something like Word, uh, or you want to browse the internet, you want to install those applications on top of it. Most of these applications are available in what we call the GNU project, GNU project. You can read more about that, but in this video, I'm not going to talk a lot about the GNU project. But in, in essence, when you look at Linux, Linux is just the kernel plus the GNU um, applications 
that you can deploy on top of it. Okay, so we also have something we call the Linux distributions or Linux distros. Uh, these are built around the kernel but packaged for different use cases and for different communities. You may have heard of things like Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, Amazon Linux, Mint, etc. In fact, there are over 100 different distributions of Linux and all of them uses the same kernel except the packages deployed on top of them, uh, the way these packages are customized, the security posture of those applications are all, or could be all different. All right, so now you know what a Linux is, the kernel plus the GNU applications that are deployed on top of it. So let's look at a brief history of Linux. This project was started by someone called Linus Torvalds or Linus Torvalds. All right, so he created it in 1991 when he was a computer science student um, in a school in Helsinki. Uh, so at the time, he wanted an alternative to the most dominant uh, operating system of the time that was used on the backside, backend side of things, and that is called Unix. Okay, so when he created this operating system, he open sourced it, meaning that anyone could use it, modify it, or improve it. And that is the one thing that changed how Linux became uh, so popular. Because, because it was open, um, so he was able to get a lot of people from all over the world, I mean developers, helping him to build this application. And you can imagine, if you have thousands of people from all over the world building, a, uh, working on a single project, that project is most likely going to be very good. So 30 years later, from 1991 to about this time, Linux now runs on all servers and in the cloud environment as well. And guess what? Even some of your phones, any phone you use, if it's called Android, that Android is basically using Linux at the back uh, as the operating system. Okay, so that's kind of like the brief history of Linux. And um, where is it used today? Pretty much everywhere. Like I said, desktop servers or desktop laptops, um, server-side server, uh, computers in data centers, in cloud servers, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, you name it. All of them uses Linux. Over 90% of cloud servers uses Linux. And is a foundation for Android, which I said earlier, with billions of, uh, of uh, phones running every day on Linux. Okay, it's using routers, IoT devices, cars, smart TVs, and even NASA uses it in Mars. So, as you can see, Linux is we use everywhere because it's so reliable, it's secure, it's lightweight. That means it doesn't require a lot of resources to run it. So, you can see why the world's biggest companies trust it. The Googles, the Netflix, the Amazons, you name it. All of them are using Linux today. So, why should you learn Linux? Well, because almost every modern tech job depends on it. It doesn't matter what you want to be. Do you want to be a DevOps engineer? Do you want to be a cloud architect? Do you want to be a cybersecurity professional? Do you want to be an AI engineer, MLOps, you name it. You're going to need Linux as the foundation for everything you're going to do. DevOps engineers use Linux to automate servers and pipelines. Cloud architects, they deploy applications on Linux-based instances. And cybersecurity professionals, they secure Linux servers and systems. Uh, AI engineers, they run their models on Linux-based clusters. So, how will this course help you? In this Linux Fundamental series, we're going to go from zero to confident level, which means by the time you finish, you should be confident to start using Linux. Okay, so you're going to learn how to install Linux. You're going to learn how to use the command line. You will learn how to manage users. You will learn to control permissions and even automate tasks with shared scripts. Again, for a full outline, go to the beginning of this video and you'll see the course outline that I put there. Now, you don't need any prior experience, just curiosity and a willingness to learn. And in the next video, we're going to get our hands dirty. We're going to learn to install VirtualBox. 
which is a hypervisor that can help you create virtual machines. Inside that virtual box, you're going to create a virtual machine that will help you to install Ubuntu. Or you can even use any other Linux distributions uh, to learn Linux. Again, the course is going to be all hands-on. You're going to be immersive. You're going to learn, practice the commands. Okay, so don't just watch the videos. You have to immerse yourself by following the exercises. But this first video is kind of just introduction. From the next one, you're going to get your hands dirty to start to learn these concepts. So I hope you're getting excited. And um, if that is the case, uh, join the YouTube uh, channel. Uh, turn, turn on your notifications and let's start mastering Linux together. I'm here as your guide and my objective is to make sure that by the end of this training, you are confident to start using Linux. All right, that is the end of this first video. And in the next video, I hope to see you getting your hands dirty learning Linux.